Hi, my name is Louie and I'm making a 2D top-down RPG similar to the old Zelda games. Now, this video will be focused mainly on enemy AI, which, you know, can be a fairly boring topic, but I tried my best to make it interesting. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. In my journey to create some great enemy AI, I had to make the skeletons see the player. I did this in a very simple way, so it works by the player dropping breadcrumbs every 0.3 seconds or so, and then the enemy has this red area, as you can probably see on screen right now. If the breadcrumb is inside of this red area, or the skeleton's vision area, as I like to call it, it shoots a ray out to the breadcrumb. Now if the ray doesn't collide with anything, the enemy will begin chasing the player. Now, when it's chasing the player, it isn't actually chasing the player, so to speak. It's chasing the last scene breadcrumb. Now, this is good, so if the player moves out of sight, the enemy will still go to the last breadcrumb and begin looking around from there. Now, with this system, we can get great backstabbing moments like this one. For this enemy AI, there is over a thousand lines of code, and I don't want this video to be an hour long. So what I'm going to do instead is to show you how I create my enemies in this really modular system I've made. My enemies are made up of two different things, their enemy behavior and their enemy visuals. For the enemy behavior, I can define different properties like their speed, acceleration, what type of weapons they use, or what attack type they use, do they use melee, like punches you, or do they use a ranged weapon, you know, all that stuff. Meanwhile, the enemy visuals is basically just providing the size and how the enemy looks. There is a lot more to AI in video games, but it's, it's a complex topic, which is kind of hard to cover in a video. Now, I made a post on my Discord server, by the way, you should definitely join the Discord server, that I was going to have a beta test of the combat on Saturday. It's Saturday now, the, the part before the by the way you should join the Discord server was Thursday. I've done quite a lot in that time. Firstly, I expanded on the level. This wasn't too hard, but you know, just getting it so that it's enjoyable to play. But then I did a very weird thing to do right before a beta test. I completely revamped one of the game's most important systems in one day. The inventory system. Now inventory is really tricky, but uh, so previously I had been using an asset uh, which somebody else made. It's a great asset, but I was using a JSON based system and I'm not I don't really like JSONs, so I've transferred it over to a resource-based system. When I tried making that work with the old system, it did not work. Like, all the quantities were wrong, it was just messing up all the time, so I had to make my own. Let me show you. Alright, here we have the inventory system, and as you can see, we can press 1, 2, and 3 on the keyboard, and it selects these. You can also use the scrolling wheel uh, if you want to. Um, but we can select uh, or place any item like this. I'm setting the uh, item you're hovering over as the selected, but if you're if you have a selected which isn't on the hop bar, when you close the inventory, it's going to revert to the first one. But if you have this, it's not. Just you know some small things because I thought it looked nice, and to make it work on controller, it has to be like this. So, as you can see here, now I'm using the controller. While messing around with the knockback modifier for the weapons, I got this great clip. <laughs> I also posted this patch on the Discord server if you're interested in a broken game. Now that's all I got done for this devlog. It's a lot of back-end systems, and this is obviously the first devlog. Next devlog, I have a lot of stuff planned. I'm not going to be spoiling anything, but if you want live updates as I program them, go check out my Discord. I've been plugging it a lot this episode, but 
it's where I do the most stuff. But that was it for today's video. Bye-bye.